Hey guys, it's Richie from Fret Junkies and we are back. Uh, in this upload we are going to be revisiting Tim Pan Alley. This is going to be a part two lesson, so if you're new here um, and you want to kind of explore this track, uh, I'm going to drop a link in up here which will take you back to part one. Uh, this is coming from Talak Toussaint and as I said this is the second part in this, um, in this kind of track study. Um, so Talak's going to be diving in a bit deeper and showing you a bit more um, a bit more to offer out of this track than we perhaps looked at in the first part. Um, it, there's a lot to take in. I'd definitely suggest, you know, taking bits, maybe revisiting. If you can watch all the way to the end, there's so much information and it's fantastic. Um, and Talag has done a very, very good job on, um, on, you know, breaking this down. So I'd like to say a thank you to, uh, to Talag for being on the channel. And um, thank you to you guys who've watched this previously, uh, part one. And you know, let's uh, let's do no more talking, man. Let's just get straight into the video. Thank you, Talag. Um, if you're new here, make sure to hit that subscribe and all that. It does really help. The channel is growing, and I really want to push things forward in 2021. Uh, working with grassroots players is is huge to me. You know, um, we're all striving to be better in one way or another. So uh, let's help each other. Eh? It's Richie from Fred Junkies. Thanks for being here. Peace. You know? Right to throw it, man. I'm not really good for this kind of stuff. My right hand is a bit, you know, slow. Uh, I don't have enough strength to uh, to do it the right way because Stevie played it like one minute straight. Really, man. On, on the Montreux 85, he was doing this during one entire minute. And man, <laughs> it's insane. I mean, come on, boy. But you know that, that's I, I would say it's ba basically the pattern. You know, it's not perfect, but it's enough for me. You know, uh, so yeah, <laughs> I can't teach you more because I don't know more. But uh, I hope I cross my fingers and I hope it's enough for you guys. <laughs> okay, so the first chord will be, and you don't play these two, of course. So. Then you'll add the ring finger, then the pinky, just and the other ring finger, then you know, so. go back you play the same pattern twice then you'll add your pinky here so it'll be but instead of having your index here on the on the C you know you'll do you'll move the middle finger uh, the pinky stay here, okay? You move the middle finger and add your index here. So I know it sounds weird, but you don't have to play this one. So don't play the, the D string. You know? So basically. Go back. Once again, then you are here, so uh, 
and you'll move here. But you'll add the ring finger. So it has to sound like this. Okay. And you'll do. You know? With the pinky. So basically, you know. Go back. It's to the right, it's to the right, it's to the right. So I will. Go back to the, you know. And I can. So when you are back to the first chord of the of the progression, what I'll do is you'll bar and you'll add your pinky, you know, like this. And what I'll do is. Then I will do the same the same uh, position, you know. And here it's slightly different. You can see. Okay. And then play just the last three chords okay always so and then you'll do so middle finger sorry for the you know for the tuning okay so for the leaks uh, the jazzy leaks after this chord So you'll start on the uh, B flat of the low E string, and so you'll do. So that's the first step. Then once you you are, once you're here. You'll do, you know, okay. So, then. Okay. 
but I'll play it like you know you know with the sweep so uh, if I try it try it again to the blues you know like in the first video it's the right stuff you know and that's really cool uh, also what I love to do uh, is to you know, um, to add some things, some little spicy things to the basic pentatonic, uh, because we are in C minor, so uh, like we just saw, try to try to add these licks to the basic. I don't know, uh, you know. So uh, you could do something like, you know, and go back to the, you know, you know. And so that's cool. Uh, so this one that I just show you you have this one also so you you'll do instead of doing you'll do you know just the little slide here I use it every time like uh, we saw in the previous video okay guys so uh, thanks for watching and uh, I hope the video was cool to watch uh, both videos uh, it's kind of hard to explain you know this kind of stuff because I'm not the best in this SRV style I know some people that are far better than me so uh, you know there's a bit of uh, what I am doing here you know <laughs> but uh, I, tr I try to show just my way of doing this this kind of blues I'm not pretending uh, being a SRV expert because I'm not definitely not but you know yeah I just wanted to share what I know and what I'm used to do on this kind of music so I uh, hope you like it and uh, thanks again to Richie and uh, Fred Junkies because this uh, channel is really 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 cool man for every type of guitarists and uh, Richie is a good friend, really cool dude, and uh, it was a pleasure, man, to to do that for for you and for people that are watching this. So uh, have a good day, and uh, see you soon, maybe. Peace. Thank <laughs> you.